to encompass. project connecting digital technology with dance and it is involving people from all around the world. Bringing people together and showing them about the values of the Olympics. It's amazing, it's really amazing. The first day I thought, oh my god, it's, it's, it will be difficult and maybe I can't do that, but then I thought I have to do that and now if I think back, it's really, it's great. It's like a one in a lifetime thing basically. Sometimes it was exhausting really, but it was always funny. Encompass is one of 30 programmes which are part of Dancing for the Games, uh, which is a West Midlands based programme about getting people involved in dance, either doing dance or watching dance in the run up to the Olympic and Paralympic Games. It's very much the West Midlands main contribution to the Cultural Olympiad programme, this national programme of activity that's happening right across the UK in the run-up to the Games this year. It probably started about three years ago um, with conversations with the school who wanted to do something around dance, linking to the Olympics and linking to their international Cooperstown school partners. And it's been a very long journey. The, the Encompass project is is almost a showcase project for Shropshire. It's the biggest arts event in Shropshire this year for us. Um, it links together um, the, the way we want to do things. It's involving all other organisations, bringing things together. It's locally based. It's, it's a perfect fit for Shropshire's new vision for the arts. Well, at the beginning, we knew that we were going to be creating something for full dome, so the images were going to wrap right around. We knew it was going to be on the site of the original Olympic Park. We knew that we wanted to include um, international participants and as part of um, Dancing for the Games we knew that we needed to get lots of people involved and we wanted it to be based in some way and linked to uh, the Olympics. We very much always wanted to do the idea where people would upload their own solos um, and dances in front of a webcam and we would collage that. Um, the ideas started to evolve. I think everybody, myself, Chris and Callum, all um, pushed ourselves beyond what we initially thought we were capable of. Most of the sessions we were given the theme of the Olympic value and we were given like opportunities and just to come up with our own ideas to what we think we should do. Um, we were given an outline of what like people would want us to do and what they had in mind. But they, but then we developed the idea ourselves. Pretty much we started just brainstorming ideas of what we could do to um, like show the different Olympic values through dance. People's ideas have actually, it's been, it hasn't been like do this, do that, it's been um, this is the set outline, if you've got any ideas you want to improve then add them in and you have, you have seen people's ideas put forward and add towards the choreography, so it's been really good. There really needs to be a good collaboration, and collaboration is an easy word to say, um, but it's about relationships and it's a difficult one to achieve. Um, when it works, I think, really well is when um, ideas are moving both ways, and that means that you have to let go sometimes of the things that you think are correct or right, and sometimes the other person has to, and you have to find your way through that. And we kept on doing that all the way through, right to the end. Some of the international students came and they said, oh, we don't know any dancing, we don't do really anything. And they have been some of the most extraordinary dancers. It's been a really great experience and it's been a great opportunity to work with like professional dancers. Yeah. <laughs> it was difficult to live up to their kind of standards, but it's also good because 
they give us advice on how to improve, any kind of learn from it. The main thing that I've taken away will be um, to feel the dance, you not just perform it but to actually you know, work on something long enough to want to be able to do it and to put my own feeling into it and my own way of doing things. We all do different styles of dance and then how Toby and Anne and Sonia has managed to like make us do um, dance moves in union and then we do our separate dance styles. It's been really great. I didn't expect this at all, but it's a good thing I didn't expect what I did because now that I've experienced it, I can, I feel more free with my dance. I remember a point where we had some content, Chris and Callum had put together some footage for an initial test, very, very early days test in the dome. And I remember sitting by the computer and we got them all around and they looked at it and something just switched on. They were like, ah, oh, we get it. We get what we've been doing in front of that camera and green screen all the time. Um, that was a great moment to see that switch go on. The workshops went really well, actually. They were tough. Uh, we had quite a short time frame to get around all the schools, but I think overall they were really good, really good feedback, great success. Um, we worked with children from the age of about 10 right through to students aged 18. Seeing the finished film has been amazing and hearing the people really enjoying the fact that it's such a unique event, the fact that it's in a dome in 360 and they've not experienced anything like it before, that's, been made, it, that's made it really worthwhile. Yeah. I didn't expect the live performance but within the film, but you can't my first experience of that was really, really good. We thought it was brilliant, really impressed. Fantastic. I thought the interaction as well was really made interesting, didn't it? The, the energy in the performance was was really good to see. Brilliant. Yeah? Yeah, really unusual. Great. The live performance with the film was very good. To see the progress that they've made through one project is really good. See them at the end after all the training, giving them on performance skills to perform in the dome and see that light come on inside of them in front of an audience. Everything we were trying to get them to achieve, um, all locked in. Uh, that was incredible to see um, when you think about the beginning and all the uncertainty and what is this project about. To that, most challenging part of the project, I'd say, is um, coming together with different sort of dance styles because I was pretty um, enclosed with my sort of dance styles and not very, I wasn't very experienced at the start but I think um, I've gained experience from professionals I've been working with and students from all around the world and uh, different styles have come together I think that's been hard but I think, I think I've really improved throughout the duration of the project. There are many, 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 I, mean, I, can, I can actually write a novel on, on this kind of project because there have been so many wonderful moments. It's just been amazing, it's been the highlight of my career so far, it really truly has. You know, I think everybody really reached past what they're initially capable of doing. I think the project's been brilliant for that and I, I hope that we will be able to collaborate again one day because I think it was a really good mix of different levels of experience, different personalities, different creative ideas and when it comes together like that it's brilliant.